Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to semi-tether your device running iOS 5.0.0 or iOS 5.0.1. So what you're going to do first is you're going to go into Cydia, click the Manage tab, and then click Sources. Once you're there, you're going to click Edit and Add. You're going to add a repo called The Big Boss dot org slash semi tether there we go the big boss dot org slash semi tether sync back in And there we go. We're going to go on and tap some the bigboss.org. And once we are in there, we're going to click on this one and we're going to make sure it's installed. Make sure mobile substrate is installed. It may already be installed on your system, but in some cases it's not already installed. And the next thing is you're going to click on semi tether. Up top, it's going to say install. You're going to install semi tether and you're going to have to do a um, restart of your springboard. So now you have been left with a semi-tethered app option right here. You're going to go ahead and click on that. And if your reboot status is in green and says status OK, you're all good to go. And the semi-tethered boot will work. And the other thing in here I have to go over is Safari. If you um, swipe this to on, Safari will work when you do a semi-tethered reboot. Under a semi-tether jailbreak, you will not be able to access any of your jailbroken apps, Cydia, or your mail app. But overall, I am happy with this because if I'm out on the road and I have no computer with me, I'm still going to be able to semi-tether boot my phone and I'm still going to be able to text message, call people, and use Safari and all the things I need. I'm not going to really need any jailbroken apps or do anything related to that. If you guys have any questions, then please make sure to drop a comment on below, and I'll get back to you as fast as I can. Um, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.